Hello, my name is Stephen Daniel with the Avaya Serviceability Engineering team. This video is about how to view or end remote access sessions to your Avaya devices from your Secure Access Link Policy Server 1.5. With your Secure Access Link Policy Server, you are in complete control of what devices can be accessed remotely. However, for any remote access sessions that you do grant, you also have the ability to view or end any of them at any given time. You can view and or end remote sessions from the Remote tab in your SAW Policy Server. A few important notes about ending sessions. Take caution when ending remote access sessions as it could be part of an active service request to one of your Avaya solutions. Also, if any user other than admin would like to view or end remote sessions, they'll need to have the proper role assigned to them, granting them the correct privileges. For details on how to assign roles to users, please search keyword Secure Access Link on our Avaya Mentor YouTube channel for a video tutorial on this topic. Begin by logging into your cell policy server with the admin account or a user with privileges to view and manage remote sessions. Once authenticated, click on the Remote tab. From this page, you can search for and view remote sessions that are currently pending, active, inactive, or ended. As needed, you can end a session that is in progress. The policy server displays sessions for the number of hours configured in the policy server configuration file policymanager.properties. For example, if the setting is 24 hours, this page displays remote sessions for the previous 24 hour period. The information for remote sessions with devices managed by this policy server is displayed in the table below. You can use the filters feature to search for a specific remote session or to narrow the number of entries in the table. You can also sort the table by clicking the column heading for any of the table columns. This table displays the following information for each remote session. Remote session ID, a unique identifier assigned to the remote session by the Avaya Secure Access Link Concentrator remote server. Solution element ID, asset ID, the solution element ID for your managed devices as they exist in the policy server database. Product family, the product family assigned for your managed devices as they exist in the policy server database. Remote session user ID, the login name of the user who established the remote session. For example, Jane Doe. Enterprise ID, a simple identifier that references the Avaya Cell Concentrator remote server that established the remote session. Start time, the date and time that the cell gateway connected to the remote session. End time, if applicable, the date and time that the cell gateway disconnected the remote session. If a user ended the remote session from this page by clicking end in the action column, then this field is updated once the SAW gateway managing the device notifies the policy server that the end action was carried out. Policy server user, if applicable, the login name of the policy server user who ended the session. Status, the current status of the remote session. Possible entries in this column are pending, approval, session started, session ended, waiting to end session, session denied, and missing device. Note that this field cannot be updated when an agent is missing from the policy server. The policy server will change the status to missing device when the cell gateway managing this device misses three contacts or pings. Action. For a remote session in progress, this column displays the end link, otherwise the field will be blank. A quick note about using the filters feature. You can filter the list of remote sessions displayed based on the remote session ID, solution element ID, product family, remote session ID, or enterprise ID. Simply specify the information in the fields above the column for which data element you would like to filter against. After specifying your filter criteria, click the Filter button. When the table refreshes, only those remote sessions that match your filter criteria are displayed in the table. If you want to filter the table by a different criteria, click Clear to remove the current entries in the filter boxes. Then specify new information and click Filter again. As needed, sort the information by clicking any of the column headings. Now that we understand the details of this page, let's go ahead and end the current session in progress by clicking on the End link. We'll be asked to confirm if we really want to end the session. We'll go ahead and acknowledge the action by clicking OK. Now if we take a quick look at our audit log, we can see the message column for this session reflects waiting to end session. After our shell gateway carries out this action and terminates the session, it will send one final notification to our policy server, at which point our audit log will reflect new entries in the message column. Thank you for your time today. We welcome comments, questions, and feedback at mentor at or on Twitter at AvayaMentor. 
For more details or related information, please visit support.avaya.com. Thank you for choosing Avaya.